What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is me, Unit Comics. I'm M. I'm E. And we have a mystery box for you guys. Uh, another box we've opened before. This is from Contrast01 on eBay. Uh, if you guys remember our last video with uh, this mystery box, it was pretty darn good, I gotta say. We opened it when we were on vacation, and uh, we got some really good stuff out of it. Um, really happy. So... We got another one. Here it is. Um, this time, though, last time we ordered two grabs, because choosing one grab is for three, we got three grabs. So there, would be a, there should be a total of nine, unless we hit the double, like the double your order thing, and I don't think we did. Um, but that's okay. So we're just going to try to open this up. Yeah, that's going <laughs> to give me some issues here, so... Luckily, I have my trusty Leatherman here. Can I help us out a little bit? There we go. Okay, yep. Yeah. Definitely in here. Gosh, I'm get open, so. There we go. So, stack of books, guys. Um, let's see if we can get the... They always put the tape on the sides of these. In the meantime, um, check out our Instagram, guys. Yeah. It's uh, it's there. You know, it's there to be checked out. We are going to be posting some new stuff on there. Um, we may even. We're just thinking. So, in case you didn't notice, didn't not notice, but didn't know. Um, Eden is a Funko Pop collector. Um, very niche collector. <laughs> so her big thing is the office Funkos. So she has a quite a decent collection of uh, the office Funkos going right now. Um, so that may be something we may explore if there's uh, any interest in that. So let us know if there is and we will. I would like to show off my collection. She would like to show off her collection. It's it's pretty cool. She has some pretty cool ones, I gotta say. So, um, I don't even know how to do this. Okay, so we have some that are flipped up, some not so flipped up. So we're just gonna try to get them all in the same order without looking, which is the the big key. Okay, all right. I think we got them. Almost got them all. Except one. Getting it now. Okay. All right, guys. Sorry for the, the hoopla there. But first up, so we should have nine. I think we have nine. Okay. First up, first book. Oh, okay. So we have a voodoo child. Um, Weston Cage and Nicholas Cage's voodoo child. Issue number four. That is one of the... Funniest things I've ever seen <laughs> in Virgin Comics. So I've never heard of this. I didn't know. I knew Nicolas Cage is a uh, is a comic fan because I think he used to own an Action One for a while. Is it like the Nicolas Cage? I think it is the Nicolas Cage. Weston Cage and Nicolas Cage. So I'm guessing maybe that's a, a son, maybe? They did a comic together. Wouldn't be other realm of possibility. I don't know what this is about. Never heard of it. That's cool. Okay, so some notoriety there. Okay. Um, next up, we have... <clears throat> Boom. Okay, there we go. So we got Omak, Man of War, so One Man Army. Number two. That's pretty cool, I gotta say. And this is in really nice shape. There's two spine ticks, but that is about it um, as far as... Um, any type of damage. This is in really nice shape. Classic, classic OMAC one man army core. Hmm. What do you think of that? That's me. Is it called OMAC because it spells camel backwards? No, it's uh, it stands for one man army core. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good. That's a good. That's a good guess though. If you didn't know, camel spelled backwards. Very army s. <laughs> cool. Another one. Next up, boom. Ooh, okay. This is pretty cool. 
Um, Spectacular Spider-Man, number eight. Um, he's fighting Morbius in this one. So um, obviously anything with Morbius right now is, is kind of popular. His first appearance is popping off. This is almost, basically looks like an almost an homage to it. Uh, Morbius' first appearance there, but um, I don't know if there's anything significant about this with the value or not, but um, interesting. Very cool, very cool. Number eight, what do you think? That's neat. He looks very skinny there, Morbius. Like, he's very... He's fit. Fit. Like, he hasn't fed... Fed. Hasn't eaten? <laughs> eight in a long time? Yeah. And he's a living vampire, so... Oh, yeah, he needs to eat. He needs some sustenance, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm worried about him. <laughs> Next up we have... Oh, okay, this is cool. Strange Tales, number 141. Um, starring Nick, Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, so, I don't know if there's... Is there anything significant about this? Um, I will put it in the annotations down below there if there is. But right off the bat, I don't know. These Strange Tales and the Astonishing Tales are always kind of different because... Um, sometimes what seems like a random issue sometimes is a key appearance of somebody. So I don't know if this is or not. I don't have this, whatever it is. So that is an old school. Look at that 12 cents Marvel and shape wise, not, not terrible. I mean, the, the spine has definitely seen some better days. You guys can kind of see that more of a mid grade probably, but that's okay. Um, look at that. That's what I did. Very 60s, like, classic, like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Operation Brain Blast. <laughs> I love it. Like, it's very, very niche. Um, next up, what do we have? We have, boom. Okay, we got an Action Comics. Action Comics number 402. So, uh, it's a 15 center. Um, looks like Superman's being burned at the stake. That's, uh, That's intense. That is not good. I don't know if there's any significance to this or not, but cool cover though. I gotta say, I mean, it seems like Superman was always getting into these uh, these hijinks and then getting himself out of them by the end of the issue. Back then, that was kind of the the norm. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, the shape is uh, it's not in the greatest of shape. It's a little wavy. Some a press would definitely help this. Um, but there you go. What do you think of that? Superman intense. being burned at the stake. That's intense. This hostage must die. That is violent. Ooh, All right, next up, this we have. This is interesting. Kind of see what it is. So we have Miracle Man, number five. Um, book two, Red King Syndrome. 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 So this one doesn't have a board or anything like that. It's kind of it's, it's pre-sealed in a in a bag. So cool. I don't know if there's anything about significant about that. Very cool. Very cool. It's pretty. It's nice it is. Cover. It is it's nice. Very nice. Next up we have Lois Lane. Oh wow! Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane. Wow. Number one sixteen. That trick mirror. Pulling Superman apart. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Uh, so, there you go. That's a super white cover, though. That looks... Uh, that's pretty crazy, actually. That's uh, very nice. Lois Lane. We'll, uh, we'll take that. Don't know if there's anything significant about that, but uh, very cool. Look at that. Lois Lane. Superman's I like, girlfriend. I like this one. Classic. Cool. Classic, classic, classic. Next up we have, oh, guys, guys, this is nice, this is nice, okay. This is the uh, Avengers Annual number three. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, this looks like uh, the original Avengers kind of get back together, so um, I don't know right off, is there anything sin significant to that? I don't know. This is a square bound book, um, not in, Awful shape for being in a square bound position uh, condition there. It's still pretty cool. Look at that. Classic. That's classic Kirby. Kirby cover. What do you think? That's cool. The colors are really nice. Very That's nice. A yeah. Thick book. Yeah, it's thick old square yeah. bound. So 
last book of this uh, this lot here, guys. So, what is it? What is it? What do we have? Okay, so we got an ad Adventure Comics number three ninety five. This is Supergirl in this one. Um, another Silver Age book there. Um, don't know if there's anything significant about it. Who knows? Your guess is as good as mine, honestly. So, um, there we go. What do you think of Supergirl? Wow. She's a, is that like a, I don't even know what they're a, trying to do there. A dog rhino. Is that what this thing is thinking? I don't know. It's very abstract. Yeah, it's... It's neat. I guess she'd have to read the bubble. What did the bubble say? That ghostly figure, a Kryptonian thought beast. Oh, oh wow. that's what it is. Its thought screen shows what it plans to do to me. But this is impossible. There aren't any ghosts. Or are there? <laughs> if you need a thought bubble or speech bubble wow. that big to explain the cover. Yeah. I appreciate I, I, that. It doesn't surprise me that they kind of got away from that, that style of uh, <laughs> writing. But... Um, so cool. We got some cool stuff in there, guys. Um, we'll have to double check some of it. I, I feel like some of it may have more significance that we're just not recognizing right now, which is why we didn't like maybe lose our mind for, for any of those really. But, um, we'll double check. We'll put down below what, uh, things are worth. You would have seen all this stuff by now. Um, but cool. Another great, uh, another great grab. I'm, I'm happy with that for, uh, the price we paid, I think that's uh, that's good. Um, this this buyer has always been it's been good. I've been like I said buying for almost ten years from from them, so always been happy. And uh, I think once we do some checking on these, we'll we'll be happy. A lot a few more silver age than not, so we will take it. So until then, I guess we'll uh, we'll sign off here. So um, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, let us know about the Funko Pop thing. Because we would, we would love to do a little show off, maybe a little tour of. Uh, she has a little kind of little shrine set up <laughs> yeah. in the office, so maybe we'll do a little tour of that if you guys uh, are into that. Um, but yeah, until then, be kind to one another, um, stay safe, and we'll, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Peace.